The mounting threat of cancellation of Jeremy Clarkson has taken on a greater significance than the MSM, corporate lefties and the woke Hollywood mob are ever going to admit. In a letter sent in December and published by industry Bible Variety today, ITV CEO Carolyn McCall commented that there was, quote, no place on ITV for the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire host comments about Meghan. And with both ITV and Amazon reportedly weighing up Clarkson's future, this is proving to be yet another nail in the coffin for freedom of expression expression in this country. From the moment Clarkson's controversial words were printed, my position has been very clear. I was no fan of the column and his Game of Thrones inspired attempt at humour was ill judged in my opinion. But it's humour and attempts to destroy his livelihood at the behest of the Duke of Delusion Prince Harry and his vengeful wife Meghan sends chills down my spine. And as I wrote in a new column for the Mail Online tonight, Harry and Meghan like to pretend their media campaign is concerned about reforming the press. But what they really want to do is cancel their critics as if they're Russian or North Korean dictators. And Adam Brooks... I think it's really concerning this because Jeremy Clarkson is not just some journalist or some columnist. He is one of Britain's most popular TV personalities. He has literally hundreds of millions of fans across the globe. But because of the Hollywood orthodoxy, where they are drunk on this woke mumbo jumbo spouted by Harry and Meghan, the fact that he has offended them means that he is literally looking down the barrel of losing his mainstream TV career. And that terrifies me because what it means is that all of those smaller TV presenters and columnists and journalists all around the world are going to start thinking, oh, you know what? I think that about Harry and Meghan. I might text my friends about it in the WhatsApp group, but I'd never express it publicly because I might be cancelled. They're hypocrites, a lot of them, as well. But look, let's, I, I disagree with what Jeremy Clarkson said. I can't defend mm. that. But he wasn't but, saying it seriously. No, I mean, I'm I know, not defending it either, but it was a joke. It was, it was in bad taste. He didn't taste. actually mean, though, no, that he was, wanted it Meghan was, it paraded was, around the country. No, naked. it was in bad taste. But do I want him cancelled? No, I don't. Um, I don't know who they think they are. Um, I think they're getting a little bit above themselves here. Um, how about we talk about Harry's long-standing record of racist comments or his offensive behaviour? Um, yeah, he's been forgiven time and time again. And, or, and even Meghan's proven lies over and over again. People make mistakes. He's apologised. Let's move on. You know, we can all call it out as being distasteful or you agree with it or you don't. But does he deserve to lose future work. No, I don't think he does. Jordan Neeson, where do you stand on this? I mean, you've been in... You were the longest-serving female newspaper editor, I believe. I'm, I'm stunned that the column got published in the first mm. place. Did nobody read it? I mean, in my world, Dan, as you know, you worked in newspapers, the buck stops with the editor. It doesn't actually stop with Clarkson because, I mean, someone should have read that and, and seen that it was wrong. I mean, I agree with that. I mean, it's profoundly wrong what he wrote. And but the Sun has also apologised and taken the column down. Apologized. And you know what? You also know that when you're editing a newspaper, and I know, mistakes happen. <laughs> they're often just little mistakes. It's not actually some sort of campaign. I, some I, I find this very strange, the hysteria about this. If it had written it about... Because it was also not very kind about Nicola Sturgeon in the same column. Now, the, the fuss about that is non Existent. No one really mm. seems to care. It is because it is this particular woman that there seems to be this knee-jerk reaction. And, you know, and, and for Meghan and Harry to say that, you know, Clarkson's words were dangerous. Well, I think if we're talking about dangerous words, there's a certain book out at the moment, you might have heard of it, called Spare, mm. where it mentions killing 25 Taliban, that Iran. That's genuine danger. A a genuine, that's pieces. proper dangerous. I mean, Iran have picked up on that one. And sort of like, you know, the, the mad mullahs in Iran make Clarkson look like a sort of like a suffragette with mm. the, the misogyny. So it's, it's like there, there's danger and there's danger. And, and has Jeremy Clarkson supposed cancelization, uh, which it is, and I don't think he will be, be. Put me off writing about Harry and Meghan? No, it hasn't. You're brave, Dawn, and uh, you've had a lot of experience. You've got to admit, most young journalists now would be very terrified, and most presenters would be too. Ashley James, are you one of those people on the left that want Jeremy Clarkson to be cancelled? No, I don't want him to be cancelled, I think. Well, that's a good start. I like Clarkson's farm. I've met Jeremy several times. I'm friends with his daughter. Um, I think... What I have issue with, one thing that you said of its humour and also you saying it's not dangerous, I actually disagree with that because actually um, 
you know, this sort of sexist language, you know, whether I it's... I didn't say it wasn't dangerous. I said compared to what Harry wrote in his book, so I think it is not dangerous. Whoever they said it about, I don't particularly care if it's Harry and Meghan or if it was somebody else that he said it about. But what it does is... Like, so the media forms the attitudes of society. Okay. And when you look in the news today, like even just today, we are looking at the 22-year-old Jake Davidson, who was radicalised online, became an incel, and as a result, it was the worst mass shooting in the UK. But then you look at, um, you know, David Carrick, the police officer. That was... Well, I think this is going to be really Wayne unfair Cousins. if you're about to link this back to Jeremy Clarkson. The it that all begin no, it all begins with sexism. Okay. And the reason so, so, so Wayne actually, Cousins and David so actually, Carrick got me, away with doing with what they let, did. Let, let me come in here and I'll 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 let you come back. So so I just want to follow your argument here. So you're saying that misogynistic language, mm -hmm. negative, rude language about women mm -hmm. can be dangerous. Is that what you're saying? Yes or yeah. no? OK, so I just... Okay, I get that. violence against women and so girls, I just want to. I just want to read you some extracts from Harry's book, OK? So he writes about his school matron, Pat, who he didn't fancy as a teenager. Pat wasn't hot, she was cold. He describes the country's most successful female newspaper editor as a loathsome toad and goes on to say, everyone who knew her was in full agreement that she was an infected pustule on the arse of humanity plus a rude word excuse for a journalist. And he even described Queen Camilla, his own stepmother, as dangerous and the villain. So if you're so critical of Jeremy Clarkson's misogynistic language, I'm, do you also believe that Prince Harry's language about women critical, in spare is dangerous? I'm critical of anyone who used gender OK, so violence. is that language dangerous that I've just read you? Because I'm following your argument here. Yeah, but what I don't so like Prince is... So Prince Harry is dangerous that, too. I'm not here to defend. As I said, I couldn't care less whether he said it about Meghan or if Meghan and Harry are involved in the story. If there is sexism, whether it comes from Harry, whether but it comes from But is that sexist? Clarkson, because you're saying Clarkson is sexist, but is what Harry said sexist? I'm not Harry saying he's sexist. sexist. I'm saying that his words have consequences. OK, what about Harry's words? I haven't read the whole book. Okay, but, but I've literally just me, read you passages from the sexism, yeah. then yes, of course. But I'm not. So Harry is as following your logic. This is not my logic, by the way. This is your logic. So following your logic, Prince Harry logic. is as is bad true. and as dangerous as Jeremy Clarkson. He didn't call for somebody to be stripped naked, so I, I'm not going to rank sexism. Which is a cross reference to Game of Thrones. It was an incredibly poor taste. He shouldn't it have written it. It shouldn't have been published. All. But I'm bored of sexism but, being dismissed as this harmless banter because okay. that is why I think. Okay, so but, but, but I don't think that's very that's harmless no. banter by Harry describing a very successful, by the way, the country's no offence, Dawn, but you would argue maybe the country's most successful female journalist, Rebecca Brooks, is a loathsome toad. I mean, that is uh, utterly the, the disgraceful. Language, the Language in both cases appalling, and I agree with Ashley. Misogynistic language has yeah. no place. Yeah, but no However, one's calling Harry yeah, out. But, but absolutely, but in both cases, but yeah, it's not indeed. as dangerous. But it's as like the 25. left with, with Pretty Patel, the abuse exactly. that she got. You know, so it, well, we so know that sexist hypocrisy. abuse is a factor in lots of female politicians stepping down from politics. Mm, but, indeed. So, indeed, yeah, but again, no wrong. one speaks up when the sexist abuse is against Pretty Patel or, about, or against Suella Braverman because they're on the right. No, they do. Now, actually. I normally would.